I didn't accidentally sat on a box, so either I gained literally five pounds from eating free birds or these boxes are so fragile. <laughs> Just sat on it and it broke like this. Oh my god, what a blow my self esteem. We broke, 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 five broke. We ain't got it, broke, 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 five broke. We ain't got it. Hey y'all, welcome to the first um broke girls haul. You girl is broke. But I still kind of want to do like unboxing haul. So instead, this is where I show you all like the sale items I end up finding and all that stuff. You know, just buy things off the sale section and see if they're actually like kind of good. Even though they possibly might have, you know, 10,000 reviews everywhere. But it doesn't matter <laughs> because I couldn't afford them when they first came out. But now they're on sale and your girl finally got it. So today, sale items I decided to do. It is nice. Uh, it's from Michelle Michelle Font's collection. What happened was is that she actually ended up closing and is rebranding the M um, makeup collection and the site and everything. Uh, I think around December or so. So what she did is I went on Instagram and I saw her story, right? And she was like, um, "There's a 75 percent off sale on the on the site. Everything's going, so we can happily, you know, rebrand and put a new collection out and all that stuff." And I was like. So her stuff is really expensive. <laughs> like most of this thing just range from a good probably like 15 to about 30 something dollars. And the thing is my total came out to about 130 and it went back down to about 40. Heck, and I spent $40 on probably almost $148 worth of makeup. The answer is yes. Duh. I'm not sure the site's back up yet, but I'm pretty sure that you can't really get this stuff until, well, ever. I'm just here to show it off because you know that's what hauls do. You show off what you got when you know you can't afford it. I have high hopes for Michelle Fun. I have high hopes. So, um, let me put my foundation on real quick. I guess I don't look any different, but I did put foundation on. Cherry Primer by Heart Candy. It was like the $1 in a $1 bin in Walmart. And, um, CoverGirl, ready for gorgeous donation that's respects and if i sound out of breath i'm sorry i just ate free birds so the first thing i'm gonna use is the love me for me flawless finish powder compact and i will not lie i cheated i opened it i'm gonna act surprised so i really like this packaging this is worth what she what price this was, I don't know, was it like 20 something dollars, 28, 30 something? It was worth the price. I'm glad I got a 75% off. And this is what it looks like when it's open. Look at the, oh, look at y'all. You're looking mighty fine. You're looking cute. Messy, messy room. Look at all that. Look at all that. I filmed a makeup, makeup video yesterday and I still haven't cleaned up. Oh, look, look, what I can show y'all. This is my BTS wall. Here's a room tour from a mirror. Equally chocolate. 24. Yeah. It looks like it could be my shade. Just gonna dig right on in. You got it down there. And I'm gonna put it under my eyes. See what it looks like. Did I just embrace a dark eye circle? What? Look. Wait, hang on. What? Yo. Bro. Come through. Okay, it's obviously matching with my skin. That's also good. That's a good ting. Oh, and goodbye shininess. Rate this thing as a, I don't know, a good four out of five. Hey, maybe even five stars all the way through. Okay. Next thing I'm gonna do is an all over face brush. Shout out of the package, I get this. I've never seen this before. This is nice. I kinda like it. It's a nice little wrapping. Take it out for once. And ooh, ooh, it's swapped. Oh, it's so soft. Oh my god. So it picks up the prop pretty well. So I'm gonna fluff it all over the place. Let's see. If you just want like a nice sweep of color, not really color, but like it's just a sweep to mattify the rest of your face or set your face, I feel like it does that. Let's yes. move on to the shade play. I'm going to use a Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer, so... Ooh, 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 look at that. Look at the color. And it comes with a brush like this, and it's always soft. 
use this as a base use this as a main color because it's big and then i'm gonna use this i guess i'm just gonna use these two at another time and of course for the creases and then highlight and i don't even know what to do with this we'll see about this we'll see Ooh. Okay, it kind of looks like Casper um, sat on my eye, <laughs> but we'll see. We'll just keep going. This might I might look like a clown at the end of this, but we can always save this. So I'm gonna dash his main color, which is big. I have so much room to just stroke. Stroke it. Oh, these shadows! I'm not gonna fight with it. There's a lot going on, so I'm just gonna take this out blending brush. This is cute. This is look like middle school makeup <laughs> right here. These are really pigmented. And I'm really happy to hear that. You say that. Oh, since this is for review purposes, we're not gonna like get after the look. We're just gonna review the product. That's the point. Okay. I can't be doing what these other makeup people be doing over here, like sitting here doing like whole looks while we're reviewing a product for the first time and I'm like how do you do this because I just did this and this doesn't look right this looks like I just graduated from sixth grade all the colors are really pigmented I didn't find not with one color there's not one color that's flop that's usually what happens in palettes that there's colors that are popping and then there's colors that just flops there's not one color in here that's not a flaw. So I can use all of these. I'll just, you know, be a little bit more creative and better at makeup when I do. Right, next is a color facet. And it's a shadow topper. So of course shadow topper, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on top of this mess right here. This is cute. I like this little package and it's super gold. I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna use it. I'm just gonna just use it right here or something. So this is what it looks like. It's just like, kind of like a shadow topper. Just give an actual pop of glam. I really like it. It's super pigmented and it's kind of like that extra pop that you kind of need. Especially right now because I look stupid. Pop. Pop, pop. So what's left pretty much is these little cream skull things. I used to try the cream skull line because your girl's lip got dry this week. Because your girl is cold and it's cold in the south finally. And I was able to fill in check. I didn't try the berry one yet. But the other one, the cream circle one, is so thick. It is thick. The downside is it doesn't spread easily, but the good side is that it stays on your lips and it actually moisturizes it and blocks the cold and keeps it hydrated for a really long time. Just circle around. It's kind of easy to move and stuff like that. This is what it looks like on my finger. So the creamsicle is sheer. These are both sheer. And the creamsicle is not, doesn't show up on my lips as as much, which is good. Because I want a sheer balm. But this, I feel like this will be a co color. Oh, it kind of is. Okay. If you want to go for like a soft, dark pump look, but with some sheer, I would go for this. Yes, I know I look like a fool with my pants on the ground. I look like a fool with all this makeup, but I would give pretty much the whole collection a good four out of five. Like these did not disappoint me ever. I'm surprised she even put that at 75% off. Like these are worth the full price that she gave them at. So that's really good, but you know, I'm a cheap po, so I'm not cheap, I'm broke. But um, I hope you guys enjoy my clown face, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, I'll see you guys later for sure, and see ya.